Welcome back, everybody! Last time we, uh, oh, oh boy, we had to reunite with a tank and get destroyed in the process, and, well, I, I didn't play that one as well as I probably should have, to be honest, but it is what it is, you know? There's, gonna, there's some trial and error in some of these missions, because I mean, you don't really know what's coming at first, so essentially, I'm, I'm literally going into these blinds, since I mean, this is a blind playthrough after all, uh, but... Since I am literally going to these blind, obviously I don't know what to expect, so of course... My first attempt is never going to be the greatest. My second attempt might not be much better, but... I mean, eventually... I do kind of understand how these maps work, eventually. But anyway, today, we're going to do these reports. I don't know how long they are, I don't know if there's any battles attached to them, I don't know if there's any of that stuff, but... We're going to do these, and... If they're really quick, then we'll get to Chapter 9 right after that, so... Let's start with the Ellet Embedded. Report. Ellet Embedded. Yes, indeed. Let the interviews begin! View this episode? Yes, please. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression... good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. Hmm, huh, that lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. No. Nope. We'll just have to find out how close they are. Next on the list, Sergeant Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Looks like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right, the tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. Ah, huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now well, that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? The truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Ready or not, here I come. A new episode has been added. Largo and Rosie. So far, I'm not seeing anything that would be evidence towards a battle, so maybe not. Maybe this will be quick. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. Hey, guys! Mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? There ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Can I call you Rosie? Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though, some customers came from miles away 
just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so thorny towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair is all. Traumatic past experience with the darks and leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. I wish she would say it, because as far as I'm concerned, she just comes off as blatantly racist, but eh. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. <laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Shantus? They certainly are indeed. A new episode has been added. Now we're going to interview with Sara. Alright, let's do it. I'm ready for the interviews. Boo! Ah! Oh, hello, Miss Hallett. How are you? I think she doesn't scare easily, does she? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, actually, I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Wilkes is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Any time my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Will she ever be able to get him to fly, though? I wonder. Welkin and Alicia! Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Time to get that dirt. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellett. Hard at work again, I see. Didn't you already interview him before? Oh, Alicia. I wanted to get in a chat with you today, too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have some questions for you. Uh, you've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. I see, I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I, I, I've never really thought about it. I don't know. <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Uh-oh, he disappeared! Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. 
I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. What are you fighting for? I have no idea! I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darkson's. That's learned behavior. Uh... Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Uh, thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. I'm not making any promises. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Still gotta be careful, though. You just never know. Can't just let your line of... Well, I mean... In a line of work like that, though, you really shouldn't let something bad happen. So you gotta be careful nonetheless, though. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any combat in this, so maybe the other two are gonna be the same way. We'll see! Report. Largo's passion. We shall see indeed. So wait, where does this take place? The first one took place between chapters 3 and 4, it looks like. This one takes place between chapters 4 and 5. Alright. Secure the trade route. Will there be combat, though? I still wonder if it's going to be. Uh, starving. Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Oh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? What? I was just... What's your problem? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. The fear of veggies? Is he serious? Mm, maybe. A new episode has been added. Vegetable route incident. That's a big one. I wonder, that's why I wonder if this is going to be a combat thing or not. It is going to be a you combat be thing. On the operation. So not all of them are going to have combat, but but some of them will, though, too. So, okay. Yeah, we might not get the Chapter 9 today, then, in that case. This mission will be fought on the outskirts of Vassal. An enemy blockade has restricted traffic along this route. Fear of combat spilling over to civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this a large-scale operation. You'll have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers in the village. Your objective is to destroy the two tanks standing by on the road ahead. So I will need some Lancers here, it looks like. You're likely to face heavy fire from those tanks if you just march along the road. It may be the long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. For if you can't spare a medic to accompany a team as small as the one you'll be taking in. You'll impound things as a night off, you'll be dealing with less visibility than you used to. That's, this is not good at all. There will be no sight lines to targets more than a certain distance away, and you can't spot them in action mode. Consequently, if even one of your soldiers falls in combat, you're to pull out immediately. Mission failure. There's a lot of special conditions and requirements. Be extra careful as you plan each move out there. 
this sounds rough, actually. One final note, you won't have your tank's wireless setup. We'll be able to issue orders during this mission. Yeah, you already said the tank wasn't going to be there, so I was kind of expecting that. Any ally falls in action, Welkin dies, both enemy tanks are destroyed. Okay. There's only three total? Interesting. Okay. It would make sense to have Largo out there for sure. <coughs> what do I do? Can I bring a shock trooper and just kind of hope that I can do something with that? Actually, do I get my usual... my usual stuff with this? I'm bringing Rosie. All right. All right. I hope that's gonna be good. I hope we can do this. All right. You're set to begin. I mean, maybe if I'm lucky, maybe this isn't really gonna be a bad mission. Maybe this will be pretty easy. Can only hope. The bastards blocking our veggies are here, ain't they? Let's bust some heads. Shh. Be quiet. You want them to hear us? This is a stealth operation with just a few soldiers. Lose anyone and the mission fails. Yeah, I got it. Now let's go get violent for vegetables. Um, you want to work with me here, Largo? Just gotta get violent for vegetables, you know? Okay, we do get the extra points then. So it was a good idea to bring Rosie then for the extra pointage. All right, well, I guess I'll use Welkin to scout out, see what's going on. Okay, hopefully nothing too crazy is going on with this map. Okay, that looks like a dead end. Yes, please do back each other up. Backing each other up is always a good call, I'd say. Wait, 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 oh. You think you can beat me? I don't think so. Boom, 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 and you're gonna slide. No, 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 I thought you slide down the hill for a second. That would have been cool if you did slide down the hill. Yes! Alright, good stuff. So we're using welcome out the tank. Enemy sight. Alright, what's up here? Uh, okay. I mean, descending would be a good idea, I would say. Wait, is that... Okay, that there is an enemy right there, though. Alright, I gotcha, I gotcha. Nothing to it. Okay, I'm kind of thinking, actually... There's a part of me that kind of feels like I should just go right for the shock trooper and just say... Heck with everything else that happens. Because I don't want this, I don't want the shot trooper taking action. That's kind of part of the issue with it, too. Alright, boom, 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 you're dead. Congratulations. I mean, hopefully I don't run anything yes. else on the way over to I'm where I'm going, but... Surprised. I think part of the reason is to take that out, just so he's not wandering around doing whatever the heck he feels like doing. Avoid hasty action at all costs. I don't like the enemy to have their way... Ah. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Doing okay, not nothing to it. I might honestly Rosie might just not even just get any this. action in this map. Unless Unless You're done No, it doesn't even work. Actually, can I run through there? Come to think of it. No, nope, that was a dumb. That was a dumb. That was a big dumb. Enemy tank spotted. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that was what just happened there. Here we go. Alright, well, we can just go finish this dude off. I don't know anymore. Do what you need to do and make him pay. Oh, oh, oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. You did yes. worry me for a moment there, but you managed to come through in the end. Enemy sighted. Well, is that the tank or what is that? That is not the tank. So where the frick is the tank at then? All right. Uh, I want to end phase. Yes, please. Here we go, enemy phase. Let's freaking do it now. I get five moves. That's nuts. 
Exposed. You have been exposed, good sir. Now prepare yourself for the wrath of my gun. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Uh oh, please don't, please don't. Find me. Okay, good, you're going over there. You're going somewhere over there. Alright, we're good now. No, oh, we gotta move again. Are you serious? Well, Welkin's dead, because I didn't think he was gonna move twice. Sometimes the enemy doesn't move twice. I'm still not used to that being a thing. I don't think that was ever a thing in Valkyria Chronicles 2 and 3. The enemy would just move once and never move again, I, I think. Unless I'm misremembering. I don't think I'm misremembering it, though. Okay, well that's cool anyway. Maybe the better the call would have been to bring Alicia Shh. with me. Shush, how dare you, man. What were you thinking? I can't believe you even think to do that in the first place, man. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm doing the same thing I again. I don't you. care. I might not learn my lessons, but I don't care. Little gun. I do it the way I want to do it, and that's final. Okay, there you go. That's a dead scout indeed. Bum, bum. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, Target now we can feel pretty good about that. I want to go this way. Open fire. The enemy's been sighted, and that's why we're going to go ahead and destroy him now. What still going to come in there. I'm still coming in there. You better watch out. All right, I'm right behind him. He's never going to expect this assassination coming for him. Right. Prepare yourself for boom headshot. Boom, boom, boom. That first shot just had to miss, didn't it? Yes. All right. That Celebrate your victory over. now. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. Do 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 do. Might not get too. I don't know. I might move him again, but. I'm at the moment not entirely sure what the right decision would be to make. Just watch this. I think the right decision is going to be to try and move Largo this time and make sure that he's got a good line to wherever the heck he's trying to go. Alrighty then, okie dokie. Well, we're moving nice and closer, but... Here's the thing, though. Welkin could we very likely die again, though. Enemy sighted. Enemy sighted. Oh god. Well, there's there's the guy, or there's the tanks, I should say. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you. Okay, that's all I need to see happen right there. Just that happen. The scout is yes. Relatively I inconsequential, I would say. All right, all right. Scout doesn't get us, we're okay, I think. Personally, I would not expect the scout to be able to do that much damage to us anyway. So hopefully we'll be fine. I mean, we should be able to kill him, worst case scenario, I would think. I don't know. Hopefully. What is he doing? What is that thing even doing? Honestly. You're not gonna walk in front of my sight line? I see. I see. Don't walk in front of my sight line, that's fine. You can just walk on over there. Actually... Are you just running in a circle? He's still going. Okay, whatever. You know, it's... It's probably of little consequence that he even exists there in the first place. I could probably just get Largo to shoot at him. That's kind of what I'm thinking to do, too. Just get Largo to shoot at him. It'll be fine. No big deal. Okay, just watch this. Can I even get that far in one turn is the question. Alright, let's try though. Let's hopefully get there. I'm coming home alive. I'm coming home alive. Alright, yeah, that's, that's a spirit. Okay. Alright, so we are gonna get a shot on him. That's good, that's good. Let's freaking. I only need him once. Okay. Body shot it is. You're done! Good stuff, good stuff, dude. Enemy unit You're done! You better watch out, I'm gonna get you good now. Alright. Maybe move him again? 
I'd like to have him join up with Welkin, or at least very close to it if possible. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Stay safe. Ready don't to go. you get blown up now. There's nothing else to the right that I can do. What about this direction? There it is. Yeah, my turret. Excuse me, though? Should be fine if you stay in Do I even want to mess with this thing? Ooh, it's scary. That is definitely a little bit scary. Okay. If you can just shoot him, you got him. Nice! Okay. Blew up the turret by shooting the guy on the turret. Yes! Enemy yes! Wilkins trying to channel his inner Captain Falcon right now. Gotta be, gotta be proud of him. Okay, okay, we're good over there. Please don't light up on the offense. Over there, Not nature love lover. Hostile sighted. Ooh, it's a lancer, it's a lancer, it's a lancer, it's a lancer. I do have one more move, right? Enemy so... sighted. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, well, I was gonna say, I have one more move, so I should be Here good go. to just go ahead and just kill the lancer. He scares me more than the scout. I'm not even gonna turn around, he's not even gonna react to me. Just like, whatever. Fine with that, I don't care. Ouch. That sucked, man. I can't believe he did that to me. Yes! Enemy unit neutralized! Okay, so. Oh, uh, frick! Frick, 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 frick. Think you can secure that route? Enemy sighted! Uh, where is the tank? The tank is. Okay. okay, so tank is over there. Alright, alright, okay, okay, okay. Welkin, you get in defensive position for that scout. Don't let him, don't let him get the better of you. You just don't let him get the better of you, alright? Alright, here we go. The Empire's coming right now. Just kidding, not coming actually. What are you doing? What was that? Oh, excuse me. Okay, he's just gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, whatever, man. I'm gonna shoot at you right now. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I missed that first shot pretty badly. Hey, it happens sometimes. Sometimes people just miss. Are you gonna try again? He is definitely. He's gonna get further away and try again. Why does he think that's a good idea? Whatever, he took himself out. I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't mind him taking himself out. Okay, so... I don't think I'm gonna be able to really get to the tank. Well, I Just might be able to get this. to the tank, honestly. I don't know. I'm not anticipating it, but I might be able to, though. I'm spending all my movement on Largo this turn. No need to move Welkin anymore, and Rosie's just kind of sitting there just for CP purposes only. So not a big deal. Alright, Largo. Alright, alright, you got it. You got it? You got it. You totally got it, dude. Just watch this. You don't even understand how much I believe in you. Help is playing Fortnite. Oh boy. Why why is his name help? I, I have no idea. Okay, okay. I actually might be able to do this. I have two left, right? Yes. Here. So if I can get a shot in the radiators, looks like I can. Okay, if I get lucky, yeah! or I'll get unlucky. You say if I get lucky, then we we win. We win right here on turn number three, and that might be an A rank. But I mean, I don't know about turn number four. On the other hand, that that's more of a mystery here. Okay. Yeah! Well, at least that one's dead. Okie dokie then. All right. Nice work. Keep Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, you can't even see me, so ha 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 to you too. End that phase? Yes, please. Would an engineer make more sense here? Nah. Not really. I mean, I guess, but I mean, eh. Could have used the engineer instead of Welkin, but would the engineer have been as efficient? Probably not. Been waiting here. Okay, Largo, you better finish it off, dude. I'm ready, I'm ready, let's freaking do this. Come on, man, come on. Yuck. 
done. Come on, Largo. Come on. You got one more shot, dude. Don't be like this. Don't be freaking like this. I trust you, man. I believe in you. I want you to give me what I need in my life. You don't know what it's like to be like this. You don't know, man. You literally don't know. And now... Now we're in trouble. I probably shouldn't have left him right there where he literally gets shot, so... Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go... Margo, are you kidding me, dude? Three times in a row, you just barely missed the radiator. Three times in a row, dude! I wonder if we still had an A rank going until that turn. I, I wonder. I could check. Except I don't know if turn four would have been it or not. Yeah, we got a B rank now. I don't know if turn four was still a B rank or if it was an A rank or not. I don't know. We'll never know. We'll never know the truth. Well, we got one more shot. Will we have to take another turn now? Okay, there we go. At least we get a B rank. Good stuff, good stuff. I thought we were going to have to take another turn still, but no, no, no. Operation complete. Both enemy tanks neutralized. Good stuff. 12,000 experience points. Okay, not too bad. New episode has been added. Largo's dream. What is your dream, Largo? What is your passion? What is your dream? To become a farmer? That's why he likes vegetables so much. He wants to be a farmer. That should end our vegetable shortage. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Somehow I had a feeling. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss. Let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, but I want to start it up again. As an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big Macho Man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Once you're all set up and harvesting, you'll have to let me sample what you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But, you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready for the workout of your life. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. Heck yeah! Get them veggies, get them veggies. The personnel tab has been updated. I'm guessing with information on Largo, most likely. Mm, Largo information, indeed, I thought so. Alright, there's your Largo information. Okay, so chapter select, A Taste of Home. Report, A Taste of Home. Still got time, so, I mean, it, it looks like there might be another mission coming up, so... Maybe we can do another mission, perhaps. That'd be cool. And done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Who's there? Oh! It's Hans! Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Oh, Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop biting my boots already. 
Where's his mouth? How's he fighting boots with no mouth? Where's your mouth, Hans? Come on! You went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. Wrong! I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Oh no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Welkin? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Really? Oh, good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. What's in the kitchen? Uh, a new episode has been added. T for two and a half? Two and a half? Who's the half? Wow. I've never seen so much bread in one place. It looks delicious. You baked all this yourself, Alicia? Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so I helped myself. Mm, it smells great. Okay, here goes. That's terrible! Just kidding. It's great! Welkin? You okay? Best bread ever! Delicious! Really? Yeah. I've never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um. 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 Welkin, you look like a chipmunk. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why! Because the food they eat is delicious! New episode's been added! Uh, Alicia's ambition. Okay. What kind of ambition she got? It's bread ambition, obviously. Oh, I'm so full. That was great, huh, Hans? I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, welcome. Uh, you have some... There's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. It's what I enjoy doing the most. I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. She comes in with a big basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? She could say, Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard, and then she'd... <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin, but I, um... Are... are you alright, Alicia? I have no idea what she's talking about, but yeah, is she, are you alright? Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. It's a deal. And thanks again. I could try some of that bread if it's so good. I I want some too. Come on, welcome. Share with the rest of us. We all want some too. Don't you guys want some of that bread? Come on now, get that bread. Hans has been updated, so that's pretty cool. All right, so it does look like we still got a little bit of time, actually, which I was not expecting that. We will indeed be able to start Chapter 9, it looks like. Alright, I'm going to save real quick before I do that. Do saving right there. 
Okay, so Midsummer Incident, the invitation. View this episode? Yes, please. Da 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 da. Who's there? Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Welkin. You got called in too, Folio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Cool. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Randgrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. So, it's just like welcome now. This is a, no, I don't want to go. I just want to go have some uh, bird watching instead. I would much, much prefer that personally. Castle Rangrees. Cool. Let's do it. Look at the castle in all its glory. I hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was actually Fall Dio instead of Welkin, but okay. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. Why? It's not like it was his decision. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Why are you here? Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, far from the battlefield? How far are we from the battlefield? I see a familiar face in the thumbnail for this event, so that's... That's cool! That's cool. I'm forgetting wh where he was familiar, though. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Gallia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Gallia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth 
will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline. And my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We this shall the Federation. the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. The guy on the right is the person that I recognize from the other games, but I don't know. I don't remember the guy All on the left. Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio? Bodio is not amused, not amused at all. Well, what you gonna do about that, I wonder? The Valkyrian bloodline. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty nice bloodline. Gotta admit, it's pretty nice. It's got some perks to it. Benefits. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Hi. It's the princess! Oh my gosh! Princess Cordelia! I... I'm so terribly sorry. Are you alright, your highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please, forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. Your highness... Are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Galia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The Mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Uh -huh. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. W wait! Hold it, Verat! Verat! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Yeah, okay. I mean, we literally just saw her five seconds ago, so that that was fast. Kidnapped? It can't be. Yes, 
It was that Federation ambassador. A spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they have. Verat, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Man, there's some messed up people on both sides, it seems. The Federation, the Empire, they're all just really messed up, and here we are just kind of trying to do our own thing, but whatever, man. New episode's been added. Dreams of the Summer... Uh, why do I always say summer? Because it says Midsummer Incident, that's why. Dreams of the Sky! Hmm, I don't know. What does, it, what does it mean exactly? It can mean a lot of things. Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet! Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! That's... that's the emergency siren. Uh-oh, it looks like they're on to us! What's happening at this hour? Bad stuff. Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Good call, good call. Because we're going to need that extra help kidnapping of Cordelia. Well, what are we going to do? How are we going to save her? Oh, it's right in the battle. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. Well, anyway, I'm probably going to just ignore this for right now because I think on the next exciting episode we'll go ahead and take on this mission. And I'll read the description mumbo jumbo when that happens. It looks like there's a lot of stuff going on with the mission, also excuse me. Holy crud, there's a lot of stuff going on with the mission. Alright, well, I don't like the looks of that. Anyway, we'll read the descriptions of that next time. So, yeah. Look forward to that, everyone. Let me know what you thought about all of those, uh, those reports and stuff. And, you know, I thought they were pretty interesting. Vegetables. They're really good for you. They're really, really good for you. And seriously, which one of these two is the Federation, dude? I actually don't know. I remember the guy on the right from one of the other games, but I, I don't remember the guy on the left. I don't know if he was even in the other games. So, who's Federation, who is not Federation? Was it the guy on the left who's Federation? I, I feel like it was the guy on the left's Federation, because I feel like the guy on the right might have been... I don't know. I don't know. You can always confirm that with me to remind me who's who, because I, I don't remember who's who. I can't tell them apart. They look the same. Just kidding. They don't look the same, actually. But in terms of their identities and who, what country they serve, I literally have no idea. I'm clueless. Anyway, everyone, you all have a nice day, of course, as you always do. And I will see you all tomorrow, as always, of course.
Have a good one! Bye! Meow! Hello everyone! You've reached the end of this video, but before we go for the day, i just like to give a quick shout out to our three tier five channel members! Phoenix Edgeworth, Acheron X2, and Menthi. Thank you all for being awesome and supporting the channel. If you too would like to get your name shouted out at the end of each video and live stream, shoutouts are available to all tier 4 and 5 channel members. Hope you all have an awesome day. See you later! <laughs>